with Shannon. Welcome back to the channel or if you're new as always welcome make yourself feel at home. Today's video is going to be another speed build and it's of quite a big area on my island so I'm really excited. As you can see Coco is settling in really really well. I've given her a cute little outfit and stuff so she's looking really really cute and I'm absolutely enjoying her so much. Not a lot of people like Coco, but I really, really like her, so yeah, we stand Coco on this channel, thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly say as well, thank you so, so much to all of you who's watched my videos since I started my channel. It really, really means a lot to us, and I appreciate it so much because you are the one watching them, and this is why I love doing videos. So thank you for that, and I'll get into the speed build. I hope you enjoy. Firstly, I'll just give you a quick show around the area, what I'm going to be decorating in this video. Um, as you can see, I've already terraformed and um, put paths down and trees and stuff, so I have a general idea of where I want things to go. This is easier for me and this is what I always do. Sometimes I just go with the floor, but normally I do this, so yeah. For anyone who's interested, this is what my map's looking like with the terraforming and stuff, what I've done in this area. Obviously, it's very over to the right hand side. I've just decided to work on that side of the island, really, for this island. <laughs> Normally, I would do entrance first, but I've been more inclined over to the right side for some reason. So, yeah, that's how it's going. I will be popping in and out of the speed build just to give you an explanation on what I'm doing or what I was thinking when I was designing. So, yeah, I'll be popping in and out. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in a little while. So yeah, this is Daisy's little garden area, yard area. Um, I really, really wanted to give her some books, like a little outdoor little library sitting area where she can just read and relax because she is a normal and they love reading. So of course we were gonna give her some books and a little library because she'll just love it. And the, that Daisy rug as well, I absolutely love it so much. It looks so vintage, so retro. I just love it so much. And it's got really neutral tones as well. So yeah, I really, really like it. I was really excited when I found that code. And I hope you enjoy using it as well because it is a really, really nice code. So much credit to all the amazing creators out there because I could never. So thank you so, so much for being amazing at creating custom codes. So I just finished off this little area with a bench and a snack machine because why not? Because they fit into my theme so well and I'm really enjoying using them. Just a quick heads up, it takes me so long to place leaf piles and scattered papers in this video. So yeah, you can laugh at us doing that because I always laugh at myself because I'm just so indecisive and it's so annoying. Does anyone else do that? takes them so long to decide where to place items in an exact position and sometimes the game doesn't let you put it there and you're just like oh why <laughs> let me know in the comments if that happens to you because it happens to me a lot <laughs>
here I'm just making a little rice field, rice paddy. These cords are really, really good as well. I really love them because they're really stick. As always, I'll be putting all the cords I use on the island in the description down below. So you can go and check that out. And while you're down there, why not give the video a thumbs up and subscribe? That would mean the world and I appreciate it so much. So thank you and enjoy the rest of the video. This next part I'm going to be decorating is a little bit more, not complicated, but it's a little bit more items than the rest of the areas, what we've just decorated, little bits here and there. This is like a full on area build, I would call it. And I'm going for like apartments, little market stalls underneath. Um, when I eventually get things down, you will start to see the idea of what I was going for with this area.
this side of the little marketplace is going to be like uh, I wanted a newspaper slash bookstall type of thing. So yeah, I'm just putting down some magazines, document stack, customised with their newspaper custom code what I have. So yeah, I just place a few things down here, make it look a bit busy and realistic and lived in. I really like placing the bikes around as well because again they just make it feel lived in and realistic and just like a real life town really and I just love it. I love look making my islands look really realistic and lived in so yeah the bikes are a good one and they come in so many colours as well so there's surely a bike that'll suit your island colour because they do really look fab. The scattered papers are another item that I really really use a lot. They look a bit messy and I always like overgrown, messy, like I keep saying lived in but yeah another item that I really really like using and I think the trash items are so underrated. When you first got them you were like oh we're never going to need this trash and then people started using them making realistic islands and I absolutely love how they look and I always use trash, trash bags and trash cans. I'm forever asking Melissa to get me more trash bags all the time because I'm always using them. So now the bottom area is done, I'm going to move up this little side path and decorate the top where Abel is up them stairs as well. So yeah, we'll go and do that area and then it'll all be put together and you can see my vision. <laughs> This is when I realised I actually forgot to put the train sign down here before so I just quickly ran back and put it in place because else I would have forgot again and I really like that sign so it had to get put down when I remembered. <laughs>
And this is also the part where I have an absolute nightmare with simple panels. So yeah, that'll be fun because it was an absolute nightmare. It took me so long to place them down. So long. So annoying. I wish we had a different view maybe when we're building so we could actually see where things are going to drop or if it showed you beforehand because it is really hard to judge and especially with things like the simple panels and then you can't turn them and stuff so yeah it's really annoying. I wish we could get a different build view please and thank you that would help. <laughs> And finally, I got them all down and in the right place. And it was an absolute joy because it was so annoying, like I said. <laughs> so yeah, we're building like this apartment type area. Basically, I'm just layering lots of different items, like with different heights and stuff. So when we go down and have a look in a second, it does look like apartments or a shop or something. So yeah, I was really happy with how it turns out and I hope you like it too. Let me know in the comments what you all think. So now I'm moving on to the last area of this whole decorating speed build, which is the little train track area. There's not a lot to decorate down here, literally maybe about seven items, but I'm going to be putting a tunnel in with some black simple panels and a stone arch, and then just adding a train, obviously, and a couple of utility poles to make it look like a railway. And then I'll be giving you all a full look around of the whole area, what we've just decorated. So yeah, I really like this area. I think it's kept together really, really well. I especially love the apartments and just all the layering and stuff. And yeah, I really, really like it. My favorite items, the clotheslines, I think. I love using the clotheslines. Yeah, I, like I said, I think Coco is gonna live here because I think it suits her a lot. And it's just over the bridge from Daisy. So they can be really good friends, both normies. And then, yeah, of course, we finished off Daisy's garden. That suits her to a T, and I'm really, really happy with it also. So, yeah, that's this area of the island finally finished. That's all for this video. I hope you've all enjoyed this speed build. I've really enjoyed doing this area. My favourite area to build was the train tracks. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.